Karina Yavis from the Haberfields Public Library. I miss seeing you and sharing crafts and projects with you in person. So I thought I'd come up with a project you could do with things you might have at home. I did find some things in my house uh, to uh, print with and to create an ocean scene just like this. I hope you can join me. Let's get started. There are so many things you can use for printing that will give you different textures. I looked for things at home besides paint I could use. First, I'm going to make prints of things you can find in the ocean. For printing coral reef, I use a Ziploc bag, push it into paint and then print it on paper. When you pull back the plastic from the paper, it creates an interesting design that I think looks like a reef. Next, I'm using a rubber band around a rolling pin. You can also use a paper towel tube instead of the rolling pin. I cover it in blue paint and roll it on paper to make waves. We need fish in our ocean. I think bubble wrap is perfect to printing fish shapes. Just push the bubble wrap into the paint and print. Another way to make fish is using a net. This one is from a netting that held clementines. I'm brushing paint over the net and then when I pull it up, I get a print that looks like scales from a fish. When the prints are dry, it's time to cut out our fish. Ready to finally create our ocean? I use lightly colored paper as my background. Then I take cotton balls to make the sky. Adding white clouds. Using the rolling pin with rubber bands again, I print waves on the water's surface. We need some seaweed. Using a fork with green paint, I am printing the seaweed. Then I am adding rocks to the bottom of the sea by printing with a cork. You can also use a bottle cap. Then I'm using the netting again to create the sandy bottom of the ocean. I'm adding a coral reef with a Ziploc bag to the paper. I will add the cutout pieces we did earlier, later. I am printing some fish directly to the paper. I'm using a big bottle cap for the body of the fish. I'm using the rim of a smaller bottle cap for the tail and eventually the side of the bottle cap for the fins. Now I'm ready to glue on the parts we printed earlier and first I'm going to glue on waves. Then I add fish that are swimming through the coral reef. Thank you. 
some other fish. And I think we need a crab. So I add a red crab printing with a bottle cap. I'm using an old toothbrush to add fins to the fi fish. Finally, I use a cotton swab to give the fish eyes. I'm using a piece of string dipped in paint to print birds onto the sky. Now I only have to finish the crab and we end up with a beautiful underwater scene. I hope you're inspired to create your own ocean scene or landscape by just printing with different items you find at home. <laughs>